exciting new colors in slide swimmers from Depths Japan. New JDM Mega Bass Hazardong Shad colors. And one of the largest OSP restocks we've ever done. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back, my friends. I am Ben Kohler with The Hookup Tackle, a.k.a. The Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being filmed once again by my buddy Jeffrey the King on Instagram. Of course, our company page is The Hookup Tackle USA. This is What's New This Week at The Hookup Tackle, where we break down all the latest and greatest new drops as well as highlight important restocks. This is a really important restock this week. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on OSP, soft baits, hard baits, we will jump to that here in a minute and we'll make sure that you guys are up to speed on everything OSP that is back in stock. But right now we are going to start with a very exciting drop from Mega Bass. I know a lot of you guys love the Hazardong Shad. There are now six new colors of Hazardong Shad from Japan available in both the 3 inch and the 4.2 inch size. Now. I know as you guys are looking at these packages, you're noticing this SW right here, which does stand for saltwater, but here's the scoop. While these colors were designed for saltwater fish, it is exactly the same plastic, same salt, same plastic, same softness. So it is exactly the same as the freshwater hazardongs you guys are used to. It, they actually made it in a bunch of colors, a lot of really crazy ones, but we brought in the six key colors that we thought you guys could crush smallies and largemouth on. So I'm going to show you guys these. We expect these to fly out because there hasn't been any really new hazard on colors in quite a while. So this is pretty exciting. So this up first is Shirazu. I'll show you guys that up close. If you guys aren't familiar with the hazard on shad, the three inch is a great bait for drop swimming. So that's basically you rig it on a drop shot and instead of just kind of shaking around like you would a worm, you're just going to kind of give it a nice steady drag and it's going to just swim just off the bottom. It's an amazing one. It also works great on a little ball head. Jeff, your PB smallmouth, what did that come on? That came on a, uh, a yellow has a donk shad. Is, isn't that what Ryan called it? Swim bait fisherman. A yellow? A yellow. A yellow? Yeah, the yellow. <laughs> we'll talk about that yellow one in a minute. But it's just a super effective bait. If you live around a smallmouth, you should definitely have these in your boat. The 4.2 inch size, like this guy, works great on a swim bait head. It works great as a trailer on the Waze. A lot of guys throw it on an Alabama rig. Of course, you could also drop shot this as well if you have some bigger profile fish around. So, once again, this is the new Shirazu color. It's basically like a white ice, a white back with a clear silver flake. This one's gonna crush them. I'm excited about this because they love white here. Next color up, this is Iwashi. And this is just a, another just very natural profile, kind of a pearl belly, and then kind of a clearish back with some blue flake. Really nice natural profile there. Next up is Katakuchi. Way down yonder on the Katakuchi. Remember that song, Jeff? No, I've never heard that song before. Hmm. This is kind of a uh, smoke, almost a bluegill type color. So it's got some green and blue flake. Just, again, very natural. Going to be a great one this spring. There is a green silver, which looks like this guy. So kind of a perchy type color. I think a lot of you northern guys are going to crush them on this guy. There is a green pumpkin watermelon, which is pretty self-explanatory. Just a nice natural two-tone green pumpkin watermelon color. And there is a clear hologram. So this is a clear, 
obviously a clear bait with hologram flake. It does have a little bit of a kind of a cloudy pearl belly, so it's a nice two-tone, very natural clear water bait you guys are gonna crush. Also, we see a restock this week on two of our most popular JDM colors and Hazardongs. This is Sight Killer Pink, and this is, as Jeff calls it, yellow, but it's Sight Chartreuse. So, congratulations on your PB. Thank you. That yellow really killed them out there. Okay. So, check these out. They're back in stock. They're up right now, so grab away, guys. A couple other really important restocks to mention from Mega Bass this week. The SV3 spinnerbait. I don't know why it just took me so long for my brain to function. Yeah, See, there it goes again. It's good. I don't know the cheese happening. curds. I think we need to get to that Orion segment. Yes, already. Okay, so the half ounce double willow in the SV3 spinnerbait in white pearl. This is not white pearl. This is pearl shad. Don't look at me like that, Jeff. This is going to be an excellent episode. Pearl shad. This is back in stock. A lot of you guys have been waiting for one of the white colors, either pearl shad or white python, to come back. Pearl Shad finally made it back in stock in the half ounce, so that guy is available now. Also, a very, very exciting restock. This is almost a new drop. We brought these in maybe about seven, eight months ago when Mega Bass first released them in Osaka, and they've literally been out ever since. But this is the brand new finesse bait fish bait from Mega Bass. This is the Karashi. Now, if you're not familiar with the Karashi, Karashi is Mega Bass's take on the basically that eye motion do nothing bait that every brand in Japan has. It's nice and finessey. Uh, here, let me spec it out for you. It's 59 millimeters, 3 16 of an ounce. It is a slow sink, but Mega Bass couldn't just make a bait that didn't do anything. Of course, you can just wind it and it will not do anything if that's what you want to do. But this is one of the most beautiful baits for twitching under the water and it's just gonna have this beautiful side to side bounce. When you guys really need to downscale your profile when they're feeding on small minnows, little bait, the Karashi is super dope. It casts easy, the fish choke them. We're super excited to get these guys back. They're available in all the key colors again. So grab them quick, the Karashi from Mega Bass. All right, in new this week from Depths Japan, we see the exciting drop of the brand new Tiny Bulldoze. Now this guy is a floating model. It's 100 millimeters long. It's three quarters of an ounce. You guys remember the drop of the Tiny Bull Shooter a few months back. This is basically the lipped version of that guy. So you can wake it, you can have it dive and then float back up. So just a very realistic, very natural looking bait. This is a very small drop. I think Depths expected to be able to make a lot of these things and they didn't. So if this is something you guys have been waiting on, make sure to grab them very quickly. They're gonna sell out right away. Also kind of staying in that smaller size. Uh, a few months back, Depths released the Slide Swimmer 115. This week, we see four new color additions to the 115 lineup that are very exciting. We see a new largemouth bass offering. This one is just gonna be so ridiculously sick in the spring. We see a new ghost IU color. We see a brand new wakasagi. To me, this color is just so sick. Nice little all around good minnow color. And we see the Butch Brown Gizzard Shad make its debut in the Slide Swimmer 115. Now, if you guys are curious about how to fish the 115 or what to do with the 115, Jeff actually made an amazing video on the Slide Swimmer 115. We will stick a link up here. Right here, Jeff? Yeah, that's the spot right there. Am I there. touching you're, it? You're literally is this, is this fingering spot? it. You are fingering it. I know. So that is available if you guys want to click it and check it out. Learn from Jeff, Slide Swimmer 115. New colors, available now. Also, we see a restock of our best selling colors in the 115, along with the Slide Swimmer 250. So this is the Hasu color. Okay, so that guy is back in both of those baits. And we also see the return of flashcard. And if you guys are interested in fishing the Slide Swimmer 250, Jeff also did an amazing video on the Slide Swimmer 250 that you can see up here on this link. No, it has to be on this side. Okay, on this link. You're too far up. Okay, right uh, here. Uh, a little higher. Over here? Uh, yeah, right there. Okay, it's somewhere up in this area. Click there, learn from Jeff. He's an okay swim bait fisherman, so 
you could probably learn something from him. What do you say, Jeff? Probably not. Okay, no. but it'll be fun. Yeah. Right? What else do you guys have to do? Yeah. So, back in stock and new from Depths Japan this week. All right. Cool restock from Jekyll Japan this week. We see the return of a couple of JDM colors in the Rerange 130. We see Sexy Clear Pink and Giacco Gill. These are our best two selling JDM colors in the Rerange 130. This is an amazing wintertime jerkbait, especially when they start transitioning into early spring and they're really wanting to feed on a bigger bait. So I know a lot of you guys are throwing the jerkbait. You can check out those two Japan only colors now from Jackal. We also see a couple important restocks from Valley Hill. We see a return of the Boogie Back. Now we dropped this maybe a month or so ago. This is the jointed wake bait from Valley Hill. It's got an amazing action, amazing sound. Sold out right away. So we we're able to get another shipment of these from Valley Hill. I think you guys, if you didn't pick one up, I think you guys would be really happy with this bait. It looks great in the water. This is a really cool wake bait back in stock. We also see a restock of the Devil's Jig and the Devil Shaker. This is the soft plastic and jig combination that really just, they flew out of here when we brought them in before. This is, I know the finesse jigs are really becoming a super hot item here, but you can see the Devil Shaker fits perfect on the back of the jig. It looks very natural in the water. Its line tie is designed to keep it in a horizontal position at all times. So no matter how you're moving this through, if it's lifting up over a branch, it's gonna stay horizontal. If it's crawling along the bottom, it's gonna stay horizontal. It just has a very lifelike natural look to it. So all the good colors are back in stock in that guy. Also, we see some new color additions from PB Rat this week. So we see the introduction of black, right, Jeff? Mm-hmm. Well, we asked for black, but we got brown and black, kind of. So it's a, let's call it brown black swirl. There what do you, you say, go. Jeff? Yeah. So this is, the PB rat is Jeff's favorite rat. He crushes them on this thing. It's an amazing rat. It's our number one selling rat. It is available in a three-piece and a two-piece. And we also see a return of the white black swirl again in the two piece and the three piece. So if you guys have been waiting on just a great rat drop, these are available now. All right, new this week from Lucky Craft, we see three new colors in the LC 1.5 and LC 1.5 DRS, which is their deep rattling sound. We see TO Moss Green Craw, Ghost Green Purple Craw, and Table Rock Craw. Now these are kind of throwback colors to some of their favorite colors in wiggle warts and different, you know, small crankbaits that have been effective, you know, for years and years and years, just beautiful color patterns. Excited to see, you know, new additions to this lineup in both the LC15, which is silent, as well as the DRS, which is gonna have that internal rattle. So options both, if you want sound, no sound, three new colors available from Lucky Craft. All right, big restock from OSP Japan this week. Really excited to get product back in stock. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on crankbaits, on um, soft plastics, so we're gonna dive in here. We're gonna, we're gonna plow through this. So Blitz EXDR is our number one selling crankbait from OSP. We see a return in some of the key colors like Tasty Shad, Pink Lady, Sunny Gill, Red Craw. Didn't get all the colors, they're still making some, but it's exciting that they're finally coming back through. So if you guys have been waiting on some, definitely pick these up. There's also three brand new colors in Blitz EXDR. There is a new real IU color. There is a new gold black back, and this is kind of a matte gold. So pretty cool for you guys to throw the gold colors. And Cosmo Black makes its debut and the Blitz EXDR. So exciting to see new colors coming through on this guy. Those are available now. We also see some important colors like Blueback Herring in the Blitz Max DR come back in stock. In the Blitz Tiny DR, we also see the same color, the Blueback Herring along with the Ghost Minnow. So those are back in stock Hold on, as dude. well. Those are all f***ed up. How about like that, Jeff? Uh, Got it? Okay, this one's good. Don't yeah. shake this one, shake that one. More, more, a little harder, dude. No, nope. here it is. Okay, boom. 
Also back in stock, we see the important colors of Tiny Blitz DRs make a return, including Blueback Herring and Ghost Minnow, our number one and number two selling colors. But all the good craw colors and shrimp colors and stuff are back in these guys as well. We also see a return of all the good colors in the HPF and HPF Spec 2. The matte finishes like Jinrin, Sexy Shad like Tasty Shad, those are back. All the Blitzes are back in stock, matte metal Hasu, so that one, was, that one was definitely f***ed up, dude. Well, that's why I went fast, Jeff. Oh, so you don't you gotta, care anymore. You gotta keep up. You don't care anymore. Come on, Jeff. I, I can only see the backs of those baits right now. I just hope you know that. Okay. Jinrin? I can't see that because the label's on that side. Oh, come on. Do I need to get a new camera guy? Matte okay. Metal Hasu. There we go. Jinrin. That's good. Yep. It's a matte finished bait fish pattern. Okay. Everybody knows what it looks like. Green Craw. Those are all back in stock. Why do you gotta be so freaking difficult, man? <laughs> you literally Come asked on, me dude. before this. Hey, make sure that they that they look okay, good. Okay, well forget anything I said. All right, a few months ago, OSP released a new bait called the Blitz DR. It kind of filled the gap between the Blitz and the Blitz Blitz EXDR. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Jeff. You should never laugh at the talent. Okay. Remember that. Four new colors this week in Blitz DR make their debut. Red Craw. Can you see it, Jeff? Uh, Am I holding it okay? Well, I mean, the light's hitting it kind of funky. No. Hold it right wanna, there. Hold it right there. Do you want to hold it? Hold it right there. That's good. Okay, keep going. Green gill. Uh, the light's still hitting it kind of funky. You're really throwing me out of my uh, creativity. I know you. Pattern with some green in it. Okay. Okay. That was good, dude. You see a new kind of shiny black and gold color. I'm excited for this guy. Finally, a really nice, sexy shad in this guy. And should I do the red craw again? Uh, I mean, yeah, I probably. You probably sucked at it. I mean, you literally threw it away before I could. Let me just get the red craw. And red craw. So four new colors this week in Blitz DRs. Definitely scoop them up. Don't expect these to last very long. We will hopefully get a nice restock here in a couple weeks. So if you guys have been waiting, available now and hard base from OSP. Jeff. Would you say I have a nice scrum? A scrum? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say you have a nice scrum. You like my scrum, right? Yeah. If you want to get a nice scrum as well, pick up the new scrum hook from OSP. So this is the first hook that OSP has released. This is a pretty cool new deal. This is designed to help improve your Neko rig fishing. It's available in a size two, a one, a one aught, and a two aught. The scrum features where you would normally have a bait keeper. It features this little forked doohickey here that holds on to the soft plastic to keep your hook in the perfect position. So this is designed for weedless necker rig fishing instead of using the tube and coming out. This is how it will look on the bait. So you can see how that little forked piece holds the plastic in a perfect position so that as you are fishing the worm stays straight you can shake it just a really cool way to present a weedless neko rig so definitely check those out from osp the new scrum all right a couple important restocks in my favorite osp jerkbait this is the rudra and these are my two favorite wakasagi kellers we see ghost hf wakasagi return and we see impact wakasagi return if you guys aren't familiar with the rudra Rudra is the 130 millimeter long, three quarter ounce jerk bait from OSP. What's dope about these is that they're available in a suspend and a moderate slow float. So if you want it to stay down deep, you can get the suspending version. If you want it to kind of have that same kind of nose down and then really slow float up like you guys are used to in something like an Edo Vision 110 or something like that, this will deliver it for you just in a bigger version. So check those out from OSP. Also, we see a restock this week in all of the blade baits from OSP. This is the OSP Override. These guys are available in a quarter ounce, a three eighth ounce, and a half ounce. The Override is one of the hottest blade baits. It does feature three different line ties, so you can get different action out of it. The middle is gonna be the best all around. The front's gonna be better for just a straight retrieve, and then the back is gonna be best for yo-yo up and down. What's cool about the OSP blade baits is that they're available not just in shad and gill and blacks and golds and different colors, but also in matte finishes, which you don't see very often in a blade bait. The matte finish shows up so good underwater on stormy days, cloudy days, which we get a lot of 
this time of the year in the winter. So if you guys are looking for a new good blade bait option, definitely check out the Override from OSP. All right, huge restock this week of OSP soft plastics. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on these, so really excited to get these. Let's start with the OSP Doe Live Stick. Now, if you follow us on Instagram, you follow us on our YouTube channel, you know that the Doe Live Stick is my favorite soft plastic bait basically of the last couple of years. If I am free rigging, if I am using like a weightless Senko drop shot, this is my go-to guy. Now, it is available in a three inch, a 3.5, a 4.5, and a six inch size. They're all back in stock now. The 3.5 inch size is my key go-to size on a free rig. It lets me stay finesse. I can throw this on a spinning rod. So all the good colors, green pumpkins, you know, lively wakasagis, honey flashes, everything is back in stock now. If you guys are fishing smallmouth and you drop shot small, tiny little baits, the three inch dough live stick is ridiculously amazing. Just has a great action under the water. So again, all the good colors in the three inch are back in stock. We also see a big restock of the 4.5 inch, which is the size that I will use if I need to upsize my free rig, or it is a size that I use for weightless presentations. And what makes the Doe Live stick so effective, if you guys haven't thrown it, is this is basically like a hybrid of a Senko and a Fluke. So the body design is designed to quiver like a Senko in a horizontal fashion, but because it thins out here at the tail, you get that kind of shaddy kind of vibration as it falls down. So instead of it just being super tight like a Senko, you just get a little bit more life, a little bit more motion out of it. Just gives them a different look. So again, available now in all the good colors, all the sizes, really stoked to have these back. Also, it is available again in the Spec 2 version. Now the Spec 2 version is the same shape, same size, same color offerings, but less salt. So if you guys are fishing this on a free rig, a drop shot, you know, standard weightless, I would recommend staying in the original Doe Live stick. If you guys are just plowing through baits and you want something just a little bit more durable, you can switch to the Spec 2. For me, the Spec 2 makes an amazing trailer. So if you guys want a great chatterbait trailer, a great swim bait, swim jig trailer, the Spec 2 is perfect. And we've talked about this before. We made a video on the brand new Jackhammer Stealth Blade. I'll put it up here. Did I nail it, Jeff? Mm. Oh, wrong side again, over yeah. here. There you go. Okay, it's right perfect. there. If you guys wanna check it out. But where we tested all the trailers on the smaller, more finesse chatterbaits and jackhammers, and the OSP Doe Live Stick Spec 2 is absolutely our favorite. It fits it perfect, it tightens the motion, it just looks very natural under the water. So if you guys have been waiting, all the good key colors are back in stock now from OSP. All right, also a huge restock this week of OSP Doe Live Shads. Now, this is one of our favorite soft paddle tail swim baits. We've spoken about this before. This is a great paddle tail where you need kind of an in-between, in-between like a K-Tech and a Spark Shad. You want it to have some motion, but you want it to not be like too floppy. So nobody likes it to be too floppy, right, Jeff? Yep, a little stiffer is nice. Yeah, so yeah. what's nice about this restock is we see all the key colors in the 3.5 inch and the 4.5 inch size return. 4.5 is a size that I like to throw by itself on a flashy swimmer, something like that. The 3.5 is great as a finesse swim bait, but this week we see a return of all the key colors in the four inch size. And we haven't had the four inch in a long time. OSP hasn't had any in stock. They finally return. And what's nice about the four inch, this is the most universal size. So if you guys are looking for a different swim jig trailer, this is it. If you want a paddle tail on a chatterbait, this is it. If you guys throw an A-Rig, this is the most universal size. It's not too big, not too small. All the key colors of four inch back in stock now in this guy. We also see for the first time, all the colors available in the OSP Beaver. Now this has always been one of Jeff's favorite subjects and that is all things beavers, especially the big beavers, right Jeff? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. So these are available in a three inch, a 3.5 inch, a four inch, and then of course 
Jeff's favorite size, the Magnum Beaver. So if you guys aren't familiar again with the Beaver, what's great about an OSP Beaver is that it is designed to fall unlike any other Beaver falls. So as you guys see this thing in the water, it is going to fall horizontally while these appendages move. So you can, as it moves, it's got a lot of action up and down with these appendages. And then as it falls, it falls horizontally, just like a crawdad would fall in the water. So it's not this big, like up and down motion. It's got motion when you want it. And then it's got that beautiful, nice horizontal fall when you don't want the action. So definitely check these out. All the key colors are back in stock this week from OSP. All right, new this week from Daiwa Japan we have brought in the Daiwa Alphys Airstream Custom. Now this is the Alphys BFS reel. A lot of you guys are using this reel for your BFS trout and bass stuff. This is a beautiful made in Japan quality reel. Just a gorgeous styling, honeycomb, shallow spool, carbon grips, cork knobs. Just a super tricked out reel that a lot of you guys have been looking for. So if you've been looking for a great BFS reel from Japan, check it out in stock now. All right, I have a very exciting brand new chatterbait slash crankbait rod from Valley Hill, Japan to show you guys. This is the black scale crankbait rod from Valley Hill. Now this guy is super dope. It is incredibly beautiful. This is a 7.4 medium heavy glass carbon composite rod and you can see the styling it's just tricked out with foam and metal and that black and glitter and red and full cork grip that a lot of you guys love styling even at the butt section is amazing now this is a true medium heavy glass rod so this is going to be an incredible action rod for square bills small to medium diving crankbaits and the smaller size chatterbaits like that chatterbait stealth that we showed a little bit earlier this rod is money for it the dopest thing about this rod $299 so it's an incredibly affordable JDM rod this is we don't expect this batch to last very long we got as many as we could and hopefully we'll get some more soon after but if you guys have been looking for a great JDM crankbait rod check this out from Valley Hill all right, and really quickly kind of wrap things up this week. So earlier this week, Mega Bass announced that the arrival of the Orochi Double X, which was expected to be end of December, which is now, has been pushed back to late spring and possibly even into mid summer. So we grabbed every possible Orochi we could get our hands on. So we just wanted to highlight some of the ones that we were able to get and bring back in stock. So first up, we have the Orochi Double X Launcher. This is the 711 glass deep cranking stick. This is my favorite deep cranking rod in basically out of any rod. It handles everything from a deep six and 8xd big m 7.5 10xd you can throw all that stuff with ease it's light it's glass it's beautiful those are back in stock also we see a return of the orochi double x swing fire now this is the 7.2 glass rod that's designed for throwing smaller crankbaits so square bills small to mid depth diving stuff again smaller chatterbaits just a great light all around rod it's got a nice soft glass action in there so you just get great castability with this thing these are back in stock we are also able to snag the remaining rods in the orochi triple x line which is the japan lineup so for spinning models, we were able to get the Jade Python. This is the 610, it's an F3. So this is the best all around finesse spinning rod in the lineup from Mega Bass in the triple X. Again, the Jade Python. So this is gonna be a great all around. You could drop shot, you could neko rig, you could shaky head, you can do all kinds of things with this rod, very versatile. So those are back in stock. And then finally, we're able to pick up the Triple X Destruction 70. This is the seven foot, three eighths to two ounce lure rating. It's an F7. This is like the do it all, great all around rod. 
in the Japan Orochi lineup. It's got a nice soft tip, so you can throw a frog, you can pitch, you can skip. You can do all those things with this rod very well. It can handle smaller swim baits, like a six inch mag draft. So if you guys have been waiting on Orochi, there are a handful of really key rods available again now. The rest of the lineup won't be back in till probably, again, late spring, early summer. All right, guys, and that is a wrap. We appreciate you guys being here. We appreciate you watching. Thank you for all the support and the business. On behalf of myself and my family and Jeff and his family and everybody else here, thank you guys very much. Hope you have an amazing holiday season. Merry Christmas to all of you guys. If you have any questions, please drop them below in the comment section. And of course, Jeff will leave links to all these products down below as well. We'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And one thing that I didn't touch base on is on that OSP Doe Live stick, I'm gonna drop a special free rig video on Tuesday, just breaking it down completely for you guys. So if you have been interested in learning the free rig, but haven't really gotten into it, stay tuned. Tuesday, we'll drop one for you and we will break it all down. So until then, until next time, have a great Sunday, everyone. Peace out.